Okay, had a question. I, somebody asked, what do the uh, troops think of um, Trump doing the Memorial Day wreath laying? Yeah, bone spurs. Bone spurs Trump. But I can't go and serve. Nobody in our family is first served. justice <laughs> uh, yeah I would say from that they're not going to be too thrilled with it some more cards and see what all that's about. Trump is in unfamiliar territory, like a fish out of water. The voice, hey. Him and his big mouth. So we've got like a fish out of water in memory. And the voice, we have renewal. So it's like, you know, for Trump, um, he's got no memory of anything to do with Memorial Day stuff. And uh, he's out there just, again, the voice renewal. So he's just out there trying to politicize himself and go through the motions. Um, but it's kind of like harsh justice. That, uh, and, and when I keep looking at the higher font with this one, he should be, you know, looking to God, looking to higher things, but he's not doing it. Okay, he's out there to just promote himself as usual. It's what they see. And, uh, you know, Memorial Day is about remembering. And Trump doesn't give a rat's ass about anybody or anything. Okay, we got center of it is the world and challenge is, you know, him just trying to defend whatever he's doing. Challenge is to defend. Um, he's really got no right to be there. 
he doesn't act presidential. He's just still trying to do his reality show and use the office to make whatever money and backdoor deals he can do. Okay, going into it, you know, we've got, uh, they probably, yeah, people telling tales and that energy. They probably would like to take that club to him about now. <laughs> But they're watching, you know, what, what's coming out, the um, whistleblowers and what they have to say. Um, now, she keeps coming up. Um, yeah, that's the, uh, whoever his backer is and stuff, the challenges to temper temper that yeah they're thinking he needs to uh, need, needs to temper things above it coming together um that they see that he's just, uh, you know, he has his sycophants and stuff. The challenge is to yeah, get him out of his uh, unrealistic things. You know, he's just like a party hardy, go out, celebrate. Okay, we'll put the wreath and then we'll go. Okay. We'll go celebrate and do it. So he's not looking at anything. Okay. Going forward is the path. <laughs> They're thinking that he needs to pick a direction, the challenges, the investigations that are coming up. Um, So, yeah, it's just a feeling he needs to get real. He needs to stop self-promoting, you know, trying to make himself look good on the world stage, defending his actions. Um, because more is coming out, more energy, more clubbing stuff is coming out with more and more whistleblowers to come forward. Um, whoever his backing is, they think it needs to be tempered. You know, that's coming out. And rather than him, you know, always in this uh, going with his buddies, celebrating whatever he's doing, golfing or whatever, that he needs to, uh, you know, be willing to do the fight to fight. So, again, going forward, pick a direction do something, but uh, the investigations are looming, okay? So we have an investigations that are still looming. That's his challenge. Um, let me see. Yeah. A victory. Okay. You know, Trump always wants to say a victory, open up, do this, whatever now, but what's coming is showing what he's trying to get away with. The challenge is his ongoing attempts to get away with stuff. Um, so yeah, they're, they're just, the military is overall saying, um, They're just saying, you know, he's bogus. He didn't serve in the military. He's over there for a publicity stunt. Um, and he needs to, you know, maybe check higher powers. 
um, because justice is going to be rough for him. He needs rough justice is what they're thinking. Um, so that's what I'm getting for the thing with uh, what do the troops think of Trump? They, they think it's time for him to get some rough justice. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. He's got no business being there. He's like a fish out of water. He's got no memories of, of anything to do with military, understanding, compassion, empathy, nothing. This guy's got buckus. Okay? Now, I like these ones. You could do the whole reading with just these top cards. Again, he needs some rough justice. You know, maybe he can get away with it because of his position in the government. Okay? And he, really, he needs to search, do some inner search. Um, and they know he's doing it for renewal for, uh, you know, it's just a... This is a photo op for him, okay? Another way to get them to talk about him, okay? And I love this one, the voice, you know, all the BS he's putting out in the world. And, uh, yeah, he, he, again, you know, it's all right there. He needs rough justice because he's got no business being here. He's got no business laying a wreath because he could give a rat's ass about anybody that has sacrificed for this country because none of the Trump family have ever, ever, ever been in the military. Now, that is a sad thing to say, okay? They all find some way to skate and get out of it. And, you know, you've got some families that, that it's tradition in their family to serve. Okay? Trump's thing is to, to get away from serving. Do whatever he can to get away from it. Okay? So, um, yeah. He's pathetic. Okay? Trump is pathetic. And I, I don't know if I were still in the military, if I could salute him. I just, you know, I <laughs> court martial me, sanction me, you know, cut my pay grade, drop it down. But uh, to salute that guy, mm, I'm, I don't think I could do it. Okay. Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave this here. But yeah, Captain Bone Spurs, yeah, I don't think so.